Okay. And I'm just right behind them. Vara, vara, vara. Cast hacker, the extra sinking. And looks like a grouper. Ah, a grouper. <laughs> they shouldn't trust them. Vara, vara, mm, mm. Another one. But we have to use it a bit fast. Okay. Okay. I had uh, lots of strikes. It's very close to the boat. And this lure has the scars to prove it. Yeah, guys. It's a bit windy today, but we're going for saltwater safari. Yay! It won't be easy because of the wind but I'm gonna make it count I know I'm gonna get some fish because the moon, the tide and the wind are perfect perfect for this area so I'm expecting to have fun today join me, let's see, come on so today I'm going to put a challenge. I will not, actually I'm going to limit myself of using only, only one lure. And not only uh, one type of lure, a particular uh, lure. That means that I will fish all day with one lure no matter what. And no matter if I wanna try something else, uh, I won't, I will not, I will simply keep on trying. So, as many of you know, I the worst color that I'm using in my uh, fishing expeditions is the sardine, because everybody is using the sardine and everybody loves the sardine. So, in this video I'm going to use only sardine color. But on what lure? Hmm, okay guys. I'm going today to use only, only cast hacker. Cast hacker, the extra sinking at uh, 63 grams. Why the extra sinking? Because it's windy. So uh, the fast sinking might not be ideal because I'm going to search a bit deeper with the wind. So I need something heavier. As I have said, fast sinking gives way easier bites and strikes because it's way easier to use while the excess model needs a more aggressive action but with this wind and in since in many cases i will want to cast against i need uh, uh extra sinking also don't forget that today it's i'm going to have activity in the next three hours so uh i need something that works aggressively okay and not lazy so Let's hope I won't lose it, because if I lose it, I don't have another one. So I have to be careful and not uh, uh, let it uh, touch the rocks constantly. I will have to be super careful. Let's start. I will start my fishing at 15 meters depth and on an area that later will be impossible to fish. The wind is just now about to grow. At the limit of the cast, it's much deeper, but I won't allow cast hacker to touch the bottom. What I'm interested in is to allow it to pass from the right level. I expect fish to be aggressive today, so aggressive is going to be also the way that I'm going to use Cast Hacker. Watch. Oh 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Barracuda. It seems that the Barracuda got irritated by the aggressive action of Cast Hacker. Yes. Yes, a very strong fighter. Whoa, whoa, beautiful fighter, beautiful fighter. Oh, and hooked only on one. Come on, go away. I will release you either way. So. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. Pay attention to the amazing rattling of this lure. Most singing pencils are silent, but not cast hacker. Yes. Come on, come on. Stay still. If you wanna be free. Come on! Very dangerous. Okay. Stay still before you have a, a bad injury. Bye bye. Okay, activity started with a nice bara that we set free. I need only one good fish today to enjoy us a dinner with my family. So either I get a good fish, not that barracudas are not good. Eventually, if I don't get any good fish during the day, I will keep a barracuda. They are delicious. Perfect, especially fresh barracuda is perfect. But if today, since that is a good day, start to get barracudas, I really don't wanna hold anything I catch. So, <clears throat> either I get a nice fish and I preserve it until uh, di dinner time, or, at the late hours, I keep a barracuda or anything else. Let's hope we'll get a decent fish today. Let's continue. For today's fishing, guys, I chose the SGS6 offshore plug, the 2070 grams. That it's a, it's a beast. It's a really strong but yet sensitive uh, rod, perfect for such fishing. It is a 2.49 meter rod, ideal and specifically made for what I am doing, offshore casting lures. And uh, I have combined it with a pen authority, 4500, with a PE two liter and a 0 0.50 super hard fluorocarbon liter by Savage Gear. So that's my setup for today and it does absolutely fine as we can say. Okay, okay. To explain a bit better what I do, I simply walk the dog my lure at the lower levels of the sea. So simple. The flashing and rattling of the lure attracts the attention of the fish. For a small bara? No, it's a bara. Wow. Of course, it's a bara. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, another one! Another one by the cast hacker. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yes, yes. Before you get too damaged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wee! <laughs> we scared the fish a bit, so let's uh, move. Uh, change a bit the uh, place. And let's see what happens.
I moved in shallower waters. Here, 15 meters, is the maximum depth at the end of the cast. Let's see what we can get in such shallow waters. My plan is to bring Cast Hacker above the Posidonia in front of me. There are some bogas there. Hopefully Cast Hacker will scare them and will look like a running fish from the pack. Let's see if this works. This is just a small tip. Many times in my life that I scared a pack of fish, I got a strike. Cast Hacker just passed inside of the pack of the Bogas. Okay. 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 Hmm. Of course. Another Barracuda. On cast hacker! Oh, oh, oh! Come here! Barra Barracuda! Opa! Nice! <laughs> hey, very close to the boat, you saw? Very close! Okay, baby! Whee! One more! Whenever there are bogas or other bait fish, other predators are around, so you better watch. Okay, okay. Oh no, no. Okay. This, this doesn't look like a barracuda. It's really, but. With the right conditions, Depth doesn't matter in order to get a nice fish. Remember that. No, oh, it is really deep. Looks more like a snapper. Feels more like a... Yes, it is a snapper. A snapper! Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, not very well hooked, but now it's yes, yes! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Absolutely! Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Insane, huh? And. That's one of the best things with Cast Hacker. You search all levels. If you believe that there are very active fins, then you use the excess model, that it's lethal, but you have to use it a bit fast. Otherwise, if you are not sure, you simply use the fast sinking model, 
DFS. That is a piece of cake to use. Let's see if we can get more. The wind enters the area slowly, slowly. Soon I won't be able to fish here. Hmm. Also the fish must have got suspicious so far. I made too much mess underwater. strikes. Very careful bites indicate that the fish got smart. There is no chance to get another fish here and it's pointless to keep on casting again and again. I simply train the fish and I don't want that. So, a better move. I, I really don't know what the wind is going to do. It uh, drops a bit then goes up again and the predictions during summer are definitely not <laughs> you shouldn't trust them but this is all I got now and I have to keep on focusing before the wind gets too strong I can't miss the chance to try a favorite reef it's shallow but it's gold I have to try a bit before the waves get stronger let's try shall we? When you know an area well, it's the first key to success. Pay attention of how I'm using Cast Hacker. I keep on changing from running to twitching. That usually pays off. In general, fishing with lipless sinking lures is a form of creativity. You give life to a piece of plastic. It won't do much by itself. So, be creative. After all, when you get a fish, you will be twice proud because you made it strike, not the lure. That was, uh, that was nice, huh? Guys, if you enjoy my videos, then give this poor bald guy a subscription. 
Making these videos takes huge amount of time because I do them by myself. So the least you can do to support me is hit the subscribe button and if you are in a good mood, share my video. Lots of love from your Greek guy. Let's continue. The wind keeps growing. I'm going to use Cast Hacker to cast against the wind. After all, this is why it's made for hacking the cast and go as far as possible no matter the conditions. My lure will land on Posidonia. I can feel some leaves stuck on my trebles. I will twitch hard to get rid of them and allow my lure to drop so I will be 100% sure that they left my hooks. Then I will continue. Barracuda! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! That beautiful fish attacked in midwaters. But it's strange that attacked from the tail. They usually strike in the middle. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> Barracuda! Okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah. During summer, barracudas have less mucus than normal, but they still have. Guys, with this against wind, I have a very very valuable. Uh, tip to tell you, an advice, a very important advice. If you wanna pee, never do it against the wind. <laughs> the wind is about to get really annoying. My time here is almost over, but I have to try one last cast. I already got two fish, so maybe a third one? Hmm. I control my lure in mid-waters. When the water starts to get rough, this level is exactly where the bait fish go. I try to be as technical as I can. I have a really good reason to do so. Things might look easy, but they're not. And there is always a price to pay when you release barracudas under your boat. Okay. Okay. Ah. Yes. A ah, barracuda. That? It spit. It spit me. Very lazy barracuda. Very lazy barracuda. Come on. Why? Ah! The wind made a, a small uh, drop 
but that's only to come stronger. So I have some minutes to take off the anchor because I have the actual anchor, it's, it was uh, too strong for the electric uh, anchor to hold me and I have to change place and go somewhere a bit more protected because the next uh, blow is going to be probably way stronger. The conditions start to grow. Well, I knew. I don't complain because I knew it was my choice to come with uh, so windy conditions. Anyway, change in place again. It's terrible, <laughs> but I like it. No, I'm not doing exercise. I'm trying to cast and position properly my boat, but... Guys, it's impossible. I cannot keep the boat. I can't keep it. <laughs> it's a... It's a hard... Whoa! <laughs> yes, that fishing is up and down all day. You change places, you search, you cast, you see activity. You try to understand the currents. Car if currents are too strong, uh, you move. Uh, and you try to find places that the currents drop. Uh, you try to find bait fish. You are on the run. You cannot uh, stay on one position all day. Mm -hmm. And of course you don't want to stress the fish. Finally, the wind uh, seems to drop a bit. Huh. Let's see if we can have some action on this reef. Before, even the electric anchor couldn't hold. It was really strong. But here, maybe I can. Let's, let's start. I will cast towards the drop of the reef. I will stay on top because I'm very masculine. <laughs> no, I simply want to pass my lure from the bottom to the top of the reef. At least that's the plan. The depth at the limit of my cast is approximately 20-25 meters. I open and close the bale of the reel to control the dropping speed of my lure. I don't want it to touch the bottom because it's very rocky. And before it touches the bottom, I start the action. Now cast hacker is coming along the inclination of the reef, going from the bottom to the upper levels. I will allow it to drop to get closer to the rocks, but not touch them. Through experience, I have a very good perception about how fast my lure drops, especially with these currents. But... But I got a snag? Impossible! It seems that I got a good okay. fish as Cast Hacker Whoa. was falling. On the fall, eh? And the drag preset for Barracudas is not enough to hold it. On the fall! That fish attacked on the fall! I thought I got Posidonia! But I didn't! And looks like a grouper! Definitely a grouper. Oh, oh. This is why I love Cast Hacker. 
it gives fishermen on the fall. Come up, come up. Okay. I can see the fish. Yes. At least my fast actions helped to get the fish. Yes. It's a beautiful grouper. Oh. From the neck. Whoa. Oh. A beautiful grouper from one hook and from the neck. Hmm. Come here. Whoa. Okay. Really, really a good fish. A beautiful big fish. <laughs> look, look. Awesome. Guys, I said I need one good fish for tonight, not two. I already got the snapper, that's a fantastic fish, and it's already dead. If you ask me, I can't, uh, I can't decide which is better, but I think that grouper is better than the snapper as a quality fish. But the snapper is dead, so I have to release the grouper. It's a big fish, I know. But guys, I used to have this mentality of when you get many big fish and quality fish, you put them in the freezer and you have any time you want. Now, I prefer to train my skills and be able to get a good fish whenever I need one. Of course, that doesn't occur always, but at least I try to. What I wanna say is better leave it to reproduce and then have next year chance to get another grouper and the next year rather than get lots of fish and put them in my freezer to dry because yes guys after a couple of days the fish from the freezer is never the same like the fresh one right so i'm going to release Whoa. bye bye awesome really awesome catch it seems that we are in the feeding frenzy and probably this will last for a couple of hours so I don't have to I shouldn't lose any more time let's continue don't know if you can see how scratched deeply scratched it is but it's probably from the grouper so I have to change it at least it saved me and I got the fish that's the beauty of super hard fluorocarbon leader of savage gear it's a true savage leader that <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's scratch or not ready let's continue I will cast from the rear part of the boat because there's the direction that I want to cast let's see for one more time I will cast far from the dropping of the rocks and retrieve along the inclination. For one more time, I will not allow my lure to touch the bottom, simply because snappers and groupers and of course barracudas can come up many meters from the bottom to attack. The approximate depth at the limit of my cast here is 30 meters.
another nice grouper attacked as cast hacker was crawling up levels. Come here, grouper! Ho ho ho! Oh! Ha ha! A grouper! Very beautiful grouper! It's fantastic! I'm having the fun of my life! Mwah! <laughs> Guys, if you wonder why I have started so intensively releasing uh, fish and big fish and uh, actually high quality fish, the reasons are two. The first reason is that uh, I have noticed that the more the years are passing, it's always harder to find fish and uh, even me i have full days without fish at all and uh, yes fish get smart but also get less so i wanted to uh, have a less impact in the sea life so yes i started in the past you have seen Lots of fish on the deck or on the rocks, and me standing proud. But uh, does that make me a better angler? Showing that I have uh, lots of fish on one day actually makes me a better angler or an irresponsible angler. Hmm. So, yes, I changed my brains, and so that's the first reason. And the re second reason is that maybe some of you, maybe will uh, embrace that philosophy and keep only what you need. We live in Mediterranean, I know we are Mediterranean anglers and we are, our uh, history is way bonded with uh, fish uh, eating and we have some really cool uh, recipes about fishing, but yes, guys, keep only what you need, no more. Okay, thank you, let's continue! Groupers at this season are never alone, so I'm going to cast exactly on the same spot that I got the previous one. Let's see. The only thing I will change is that I will cast closer, so I will be right behind the position that I got the fish. The currents are still coming from the north with a medium force. Knowing that, I know exactly where the fish waiting for their prey. And I'm just right behind them, once more. Okay. Ah! Strike one. Oh. Strike two. Come on! Okay. Third strike is always <laughs> lethal. <laughs> That was a pack, guys. Know the ideal conditions of your fishing spots. Have gear and a lure you can trust. There you go. Look at the rod, guys. Look at this fantastic rod. Some people say it's the spot that gives the fish. I totally disagree. Another grouper. <laughs> Actually, the next day there was nothing in the area, only a couple of barracudas. Guys, it's the conditions. But cast hacker rocks. Whoa, beautiful! But same size, like before. It seems that the more fish I release, the more I get. I should have started that earlier in my life. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> 
guys it's super hard the wind is terrible the... I really don't know what to do I have to find a place that it's covered but I don't know if it will work because the fish are in the wind oh it was so fun but now it's really really hard I will try a last attempt at a covered from the wind place I don't have many expectations but why not one more cast is always one more cast and as long as your lure is in the water there are chances to get something don't forget that never This is definitely another grouper, but much smaller. I'm gonna fry you alive! <laughs> no, I won't. It seems that the more it gets afternoon, the activity drops. <laughs> I... The moon is not at the position that I wanted it to be. And uh, of course that has direct impact with the fish. I don't think that things are going to be better. I think I should start going back. Sometimes we are totally depending on the conditions, not only wind. The currents now change and this will stop have uh, interest for hunting. <laughs> what to do? That was an epic day, and this lure has the scars to prove it. The challenge fulfilled successfully. Guys, that's all for today. I think it was enough, huh? It was a nice fishing. Uh, I enjoyed it. I had uh, lots of strikes. I have. Uh, a very good fish that I'm going to enjoy later with my family. Maybe I'll show you a video. And uh, that's it. That's it. The wind dropped a bit, but still is uh, a lot. But the activity of the fish totally limit down because the conditions changed and the currents are coming now from the south and fish really don't like it in this area anyway thank you very much for watching see you soon and don't forget to subscribe Yay! this is one of the beauties of fishing the final act Let's enjoy. Very good fish. We are uh, <laughs> a fanatic fish eating family. <laughs> <laughs>